Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and welcome to Tag Along Tuesday. Yesterday we made this, a new little gadget for me that was made from, oh, junk mail envelopes. And if I can remember, I will link that below. If I can't, it's just the video that I did yesterday. So we're going to make some tags to go in this. And I'm just going to use some of my scraps that I have laying around because I need to use them up. Let's see. I think that will work for that one. We'll cut it down a little bit. And I don't want it that tall because I don't want it to cover up all of that. So we'll make this shorter. I had some people <laughs> that was very disappointed that my video was so short. I am sorry. Um, I just didn't feel like I needed to do two of them. But, so maybe today we'll make the video a little bit longer. How's that sound? I just hate to do a really, really long video because I don't want, I don't want to bore people. So, let's see. Yeah, we don't want it very wide because you don't want it real tight in there. Now, I'm going to cover the back with something. Cover it with that. But yeah, usually I disappoint people because my videos are long. <laughs> I didn't realize I could disappoint somebody if my video was short. Uh, I think that actually goes that way. This one may be a little bit longer. We um, might actually do another one of these, the pockets, while we're on here because I need two more for my other journals. I have just about got these three journals finished and then we'll be introducing our Christmas journals. Now I have, I think, four of those I already spoken for, I think, if, that, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Oh, I think we'll put a, tr well, we got a truck there though. Don't need to put another truck, truck. That's too big. Don't know if I've got anything that's going to be... Yeah, that'll, that'll work. I'm going to put that on there. And these are just some of the cutouts from the paper collections. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to put anything in back of it. I don't think I do. I think I just want to glue that straight down. I'm just going to ink around it just a little bit to cover up any spots that I might have missed when I was cutting it out. Because I do miss quite a bit. And then, make sure we get our writing the right way up. These are not going to be any, well, probably, they're not going to be any wild tags. Just kind of normal ones. Kind of normal. Yeah, I like that. Now, I think I'll round the corners. It just makes it easier to go down in your pockets especially if they're tight and small pockets if you round those corners and let's see we may have to put a little pull on it I'm not sure let's put it no I think we got plenty of room to pull on that and our flower shows there so I like that one now we can make one for this up here now this can be kind of a larger one and I thought I would use this paper and it can actually go up to about right there. This is my measuring, guys, when I start to do tags and things. Now, you can make it a little bit wider, but I'm just going to go with this since it's a scrap. I just, I don't like to measure, so I just do this kind of thing. Easy peasy. Now, I'll have to make sure that I cut that, trim that a little bit because it's crooked, but I'm going to Go ahead and put the backing on it before I trim it. It's very humid here today, so all my glue is sticking to me and sticking to everything. Well, um, glue is supposed to stick, isn't it? You know what I mean. It doesn't slide well. It doesn't slide well. Some days it just glides right over the paper like crazy, and then other days when it's real humid it wants to stick so tight that you can't even make it move. There we go. 
Uh, I'm going to roughly trim around it and then I'll take it to my trimmer and kind of even it up. First, I have to unbury my trimmer. I got it buried with papers. again there we go a little bit off the top well I should have let my glue dry don't do this don't do as I do do as I say do because it your trimmer doesn't like it when you don't let your glue dry so there is that one and I think all we need on this is a little label maybe because I kind of like that pumpkin there. We might put a little of this washi on there if I can get it to release. This is the stickiest washi I think I have ever got my hands on. It's beautiful, but la, getting it to turn loose. And I know you can put a little paper clip or something under there and it helps it. And I tried that and the paper clip actually stuck and I tore the whole piece of the washi. It's just aggravating. I think it's got a little bit too much glue on it. Okay, we've got it started. I'm actually going to, give me a minute. I'm gonna stick that big old thing there. I don't know if that'll help or hurt, but can't be much worse than what it is right now. See, it's a very pretty washi. It's just, boy, it's sticky. I don't think I have to worry about that coming off in a hundred years. See, it's really pretty once you get it on there. All right, let's try this one out before we put any embellishments or anything on it. Now, this is going to be a little tight pocket. Just goes to right there. Okay, I'm going to have to trim it off some because my pocket actually does not go all the way down. I knew that. I just didn't think too much about it so we're going to trim the bottom off I don't want to trim this off we'll trim the bottom off we still got some pumpkins on there okay there we go so we've got that one now you could slide this one over this way if you wanted either way that you want to do it it's just like a little tuck in there so we're going to put something up here i think i will actually let me find it i want something to show out there so i'm thinking about putting just a little piece of this on there and this is just some of that faux washi that came in the kit all of our digital kits are over on our website you just have to go to the website and that is always linked below the video and then Click on Digitals and you'll see them. Alicia has a couple of really pretty Thanksgiving ones. She beat me to the Thanksgiving, so I'm probably going to use her Thanksgiving kit to make my little thankful journal for November. I like a thankful journal for November because then each day I try to write down just one thing that I'm thankful for, which there's a million things that I'm thankful for, but... It just kind of helps me along the way. Yeah, I like how that stands out there. And I don't think I'll put a pull on that one either. I'm going to leave it like it is. Then we need a big tag for this. Now this is, that's not quite wide enough. Let's see if we can find a piece that's a little bit bigger. Let's go with a piece of this. And that goes all the way down. So we are going to, let's see, I'm thinking. I'm going to cut it about right there. I haven't got her second, uh, talking about Leisha's Thanksgiving digitals. I haven't got her second one loaded in yet. She just sent it to me last night. I'll get that one loaded in sometime today, hopefully. I can 
manage it. And then you'll have two in there, and that that should be enough to do a little thankful journal if you make one. Some people make one every year. All right, I think that one's going to be the right size. Let's go ahead and stick it in there if we can. Make sure before we do all of our other stuff to it. It's kind of hard to get in there when you don't have any backing on it. Okay, it's going to work. We are going to back it, and I'm actually just going to back it with this, because I've already printed on the back of that. So, we shall do it that way. Yeah, Alicia is really good. I know on the live the other night we had people asking for inspirational kits. Alicia makes all of our inspirational kits. She's really good at that. She That's just kind of her forte. She loves to do inspirational quotes and things. So she's got a few of them over there already made. And she's working on more. Okay. So I have the store to myself today. Um, Brendan had to go home. Um, and Aaron had to go home. He wasn't happy, but he had to go home. So I'm here by myself, which is kind of nice sometimes. And sometimes it's not when I have a lot of work to do. Oh, me. All right, so that I think is gonna be our large tag. And I'm going to actually cut it into a tag shape, I think. Just a small little sliver off the corners. Now, if your tags roll up when you use a glue stick, if you'll go to the back side and use something like our bone folder and just really give them a press, then they'll flatten out. If you're wanting to flatten them out immediately like I do, I don't like to wait. Of course, you can always put them under a heavy book, things like that, and they flatten out too, but I'm very impatient. Yeah, I like that on the back. All right, I think we'll put, what would we put on here? I think I'm gonna punch a pull and put on there. Let me see if I've got a little piece of paper that's about the right size. I, don't, I think that one's too little. Well, maybe not. We get it in there just right. I don't have a lot to talk about today. Not a lot going on. It's warm here today, very warm. but not a lot happening. Now, a lot of times I make my tag a lot thicker than this, but I didn't want this to get out of hand as far as thickness is concerned. This is gonna be clipped in our journal. So, let me open that up so I can get that down in there. I just made it a double thickness, and this is, I printed this on 28 pound copy paper, so. Okay, I think that's as far as it goes. It's at the bottom. Okay, I think I'm going to leave that. I might, normally, I would trim it off, but I think I'm going to leave it. It's fine. We're going to clip it on the side of the journal anyway, so it's not a problem. Now I need to make a little tag for this and this. And let's see if we have some scraps that we can use there. This just needs to be a little tiny side tuck. And this could be, I think I'll make it out of this, actually. That actually is the exact size that I need right there, too. Now, I could fold this up and just glue it because you could write on that. So let's see how tall we need it. Oh, I think if I fold it in half, it's going to be fine. That was meant to be. Now, 
all we're gonna do is just glue this, make a lot of racket, and then we're gonna glue this together. I like to use as many of my scraps up as I can because <laughs> I end up with a big pile of scraps as many journals as I make and as many videos as I do. So I like to use all of them up as much as possible. Now I got a little glue on that. See if that's going to be thick enough to go down in there, hopefully. And this, this uh, piece will loosen up some as you use it. I'm going to trim it off just a little bit. It's a little tight. There we go. And the best thing to do is let things dry before you try to put them in. And, you know, I don't do that. So, and around the corners. And if you wanted to put a little book page or something on the inside of this to make it a little thicker, you could. I might should have done that, but I think when this dries, it's going to be fine. Because when that glue dries, it actually thickens up. So it makes this a little bit stiffer. Right now, it's just wet, so it's a little bit flimsy. But it will, it will get thicker. There we go. And I could push it a little further. There. There. I like that. And I don't think... I think I may put a little ticket or something right here on the top. Let me see if I've got one that I like. Let's put that one on there. It's got some orange in it. I'm going to use my little scissors that cuts it kind of, sort of, into a stamp shape. I said ticket. It's actually a stamp. These were a freebie, if I'm not mistaken. All of our freebies are over on our blog, and our blog is linked on our website. So if you go to our website and look to the where all the little drop-down menu is, there'll be a link there that says blog or a page. And you just click on that, and you go straight to the blog. And that's where all the freebies are. Okay. I like that, but it seems to blend in quite a bit, so I think I need something up here. Let's see if we have a little tab that we can put on there that maybe is not too big. I might put that one. I also have some smaller ones. kind of like that. No, that one blends too much. What about that one? Okay, I think I'm going to go with that one. It's the small one. And I think it'll separate that a little bit better. And let's see. Nope. I want this side to the front. And someone made me these. I don't know. I don't. I think Katie did, and I, I don't have a clue if it's a little die cut or stamp or what it is. A stamp. Digital. I don't know what it is. All right, that kind of blends too, but we're going to leave it. I think it'll be okie dokie. Now we just need a little piece that'll tuck in here. Just a little small piece. And I might actually use this. I've already got it backed. I just need to cut it off. See if that slides in there. Yep, that slides in there. Okay, round the corners a little bit. Uh-oh, that corner needs glue. All of that needs glue. And then, let's see, put a little piece of something down through there. Give it a little bit of the golden color. I think I'll just go across it like that. And I still have to cover the back. Yep, and then... So I'm actually going to put a little piece of this paper on there. It's got a little bit of writing on it. 
You could use a book page. I'm just using my scraps. And I'm going to tear it off. Just to decorate this up a little bit more. Put that right there. And then I have just a little bitty word. And it just says cherish. And that came out of one of our free digitals a long time ago. I, don't, I think it's probably still on the blog, but I couldn't tell you. You just have to go over there and search the archives. All of them are still there somewhere. I just don't know where. There we go. That works. I like that. I really like that a lot. Mm, I might put another little stamp right there. Let me cut it out and look at it and see. I just feel like that needs something. Probably doesn't. But in my eye, it is. Yeah, I kind of like that there. So we're going to put that little stamp there. Oops. Put it the right way up. Yeah. I like that much better. All right. That is our little piece. It's ready to go in our journal. I'm just wondering if I need something like a little tag there. I mean like a little pull there. We could just put this down there. Cut it off and put it on there. I think I will. It doesn't necessarily need it, but to me it kind of looks like it needs it. And I'm going to cut it show you how I cut it. I cut the corners. Make it look more like a little tab. Let's see if I can show you. See I just cut it the corners up there. A little angle. That's it. There we go. Oh, I'm going to tap on that one. And I like that. Okay, so this is finished and ready to clip in the journal. Let me grab the journal. Now, I just finished that journal this morning. Got all the goodies in here. I just need to figure out where I want to put that. And I will, I may not do a flip through of all three of them, but I'll do a flip through of one of them. Because they're going to be similar but, but different. <laughs> similar but different. Let's see, where can I put that? I've, I've about overdone it and got something on every page, believe me. I try not to do that, and I end up doing it anyway. Because I get carried away, and I just want to keep putting things in. Okay, we've got that there, that there. I could put it right there, I guess. Or I could put it right here. That doesn't have anything on it. So I can clip that in right there on that side. I'm not going to let that lace hang out a little bit. So let me find my Tim Holtz clips. All right, here we go. This one says Inspire. And this is one of those very, very vintage looking clips. Let's see if I can hold it up. And I think, I'll have to look, but I think we still have some of these in the store. I'm trying to get one page and not two. <laughs> There we go. Now you can hang an, another charm or something from that if you wanted. But I'm going to have two charms in the middle here. Right here. So I don't necessarily want to hang a charm from that. But ever who gets it can. But I think that's pretty in there. Isn't that pretty? You know, I might hang a charm from it after all. But after looking at it, I think it needs a charm. So I may do that. I've still got to cover the front with my lace and things, but I, I'll do that when I get all three of them completed. But look, it's nice and chunky. Love it. Love it. And now I'll be starting on the second one. But I thought I would go ahead, since you guys want a longer video, if you don't want a longer video, you shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> I thought I would go ahead in this video and make a couple of flip ups that have the that are made from the old junk mail envelopes, but they have that big window. 
so we shall get these done these can go in the journal too I'll need three of them of course but I've still got to make two of those other ones so I'm just making sure that everything on the insides glued down you don't want anything interfering with your tag or whatever you put in here there we go all right, that one was actually folded, but I think it'll be okay once I put paper on it. Now, we're going to have to collage this because I don't do good with just cutting out little pieces there. So that's, and that's fine. I don't mind collaging it at all. As a matter of fact, I kind of like that up there. I am going to tear around the window so all of the pieces will have a little tear around the window. So if you want to see how I do these, then just hang in there. This will actually attach to the page and flip up. And I'll show you how we're going to attach it. Yeah, we'll put that down there. That will work. And I think I'm just going to fold that over. We'll cover, well... No, we won't cover the back anyway, so this can be folded over. Okay, now we need to cover this. So on these, you just need to cover the front and the inside. You don't have to cover all those other pieces. So let's grab some paper. Nope, I don't want that one. I'm trying my scraps first to see if they're going to work. I think that'll work, so we can put that down through there. Find my tear ruler. We can always cover it over with something if we need to, like put you know more embellishments on it. Now this is a very thin paper, so it doesn't tear as well as the thicker paper does. Okay. I think we'll put that down through there. And I like to ink to cover up that white where I tore it. Um, I think we'll actually fold that top over so we won't have to do anything with it. I still haven't cleaned out my little tip on my glue. When it gets to where it's not working well, all you need to do is take it off and take it to the sink and just Put it, I put mine in a cup of hot soapy water and I use Dawn dish detergent to clean it and it will clean it right up and it'll be ready to go right back on. It doesn't hurt anything at all and I'm going to have to cut that off. They don't need to fold in. But they do get gummed up with glue every now and then so it's good to do that. Um, hmm. I think, cut this at a little angle and go ahead and fold that in. There we go. Okay, now we need to cover this side. And I'm not necessarily wanting any of that paper on that side. Different colors, different brands on different sides. Alright, I'm going to trim this. And somebody said they have a real hard time tearing with a ruler. If you, you just have to put pressure on it. That's the trick. It's just apply pressure. That's all you need to do. I, you know, it took me a while to learn it too. I thought I could just lay it down there and tear, but you do have to apply quite a bit of pressure. So can you guys believe that it's almost the end of October? This month has flown by. I just, I can't believe it. Just can't believe it. Seems like every time I turn around it's a new month. So, cut this corner out. Yeah, I... I Seems like my days and nights and everything fly by now. All 
Okay. No, we don't want to fold all of that in because we don't want it to show on the other side. So I'm just going to trim some of it off. And then we'll fold it in. There we go. And now one piece down here. So let's put a part of the pumpkin down there. Not all of it. I think all of a big pumpkin would be a little bit much. So we're going to tear it there, there. Let's see. Maybe I made those marks straight. Correct. Let's see. I might want to get that little pumpkin on there. Yeah, let's get the little pumpkin on. And I do need to cut it off a little bit more. That works. Then I'm just going to bring it over about like that, and then trim this side. There we go. And I know that truck is not big enough, but I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Hopefully it's going to work. <laughs> this is making it up as I go again. And I don't think that's enough to fold over. We'll just trim that part off. I do want to cover this. And I'm going to need to cover this because this is going to flip up. And you'll have journaling space here around whatever image I put there. But I may, let's see, let me figure out what I want to cover that with. I might cover it with that or that side. Let me look at this and see. I'm sliding out of the camera. Hmm. Let's try one that's cut out. Got some that are that I've already cut out here. I think that lace background works, or should we just put a plain background? I don't know of anything that lace has to do with fall. Let's try the plain background and see what that looks like. Oh, I'm thinking the plain background's better. It just looks like it's on a dirt road or something. So we'll use this half of this. Yeah. Okay. So see if I can tear this pretty even. If not, you know what? I can print it again. It is a digital. Okay. Alright. I don't think my envelope is straight right here, so I'm going to trim that just a tiny bit. Okay, that will work. Let's glue that down. And when I get this one made, I'll show you how this is going to attach to your page to be a cute little flip up. Make sure it doesn't interfere with your fold. That'll work. I've got all kinds of things stuck to my fingers. Okay, now we're going to trim. I may just fold that up. Not that it's going to be seen, but it'll just give it a little bit of extra strength. I might. 
trim these sides off first. Hopefully you guys are seeing all this. I'm flipping and flopping this paper around and not looking at the camera. Okay. Yeah, let's just fold that up and give that bottom portion a little bit more strength. Since this is just a junk mail envelope. Do you see how wild I'm going on my gluing? I'm going crazy. I don't know why my hand's not working. But they don't today. Now we'll cover this with a little bit. And then that will be... That will be this one. And then we'll just need to... You know, make our little piece that goes in there. Then we'll just need to make the little truck and things that go in there. Well, when I cut it off, it's not big enough. That's about smart. But I, I had to trim it. Okay, if I trim that, is it going to be too small? This is desperation in trying to use scraps up. Okay, it'll be all right because I've got that other wrapped around, so I am just going to put that down. Let's glue this down. Find some paper for the other places, and we'll have this one just about finished. Sorry if you can hear my stomach. I'm not hungry, but it's talking to me today. It's a gurgling, growling and a gurgling. I think it's because I drink a good bit of caffeine for breakfast. Okay. All right, let's find a piece for this side. And we could piece it. You don't necessarily have to use a long piece. So let's just piece it with some of these scraps. Put that one there. <laughs> I'm just laughing at my stomach. I'm sorry. I heard somebody else the other day. I was watching their video and they said, Oh my goodness, please forgive me. My stomach is gurgling big time. I don't know what's going on. I, I, I thought, I know exactly what you're talking about. Sometimes mine gets to talking and it's like, what in the world? Got a mind of your own stomach? All right, now flip it over and make sure that you're not too far, oops, that you're not gluing it too far in so it shows on the front side. See, I had it too far in there. You don't want it to show on the front. Just, no, I have to keep it this way because if I don't, I'll forget and I'll put something upside down. Let's try a little piece of this. Okay, lay it down without pressing it and then flip it over. Just make sure it's not showing. Just use a piece of our faux washi here for the bottom. It's the right width. And I, I've got plenty of it and I can print it again. So, okay, we're going to need to tear that off a little bit more. Okay, we'll put that there. And if you have a little bit of this showing, you can either put some washi down there or something. I'll probably just ink it. Got to refill my glue. I hear the air in there. Yep, yeah, that works. Okay, let's cover this one and we'll have that finished. Also, on your tearing, 
um, it's not good to have it laying on other paper because it, it hinders it from tearing right. And I sometimes I forget that. I know some people really hate covering these junk mail envelopes. I enjoy it. I know that it makes for a longer video, but I enjoy covering them. I enjoy seeing what turns out just from an old junk mail envelope. That's just me. All right, now this window, of course, you can wipe all that trash off that gets on it. Now we're ready to put our little truck in there. Which one did we decide? This one? I think so. And then there's all sorts of journaling space around the truck. I like that. Okay, now I'm gonna need to gonna need to look. I like that. All right, now I'll show you how I would put it in my journal. Let's just say this is a journal page. Of course, I wouldn't put it on this page, but that's a journal page. And then this would be, you could glue it down. You could glue it down back here, here, and here. And then that would flip up. You could have all kinds of journaling space here, and then you could also have a place for a tag in the back. So let me go ahead and ink this, and we might just make a tag to go behind it. Is that okay with you guys? You wanted a longer video. It's your fault. I will probably come back and put some washi on that flip up part there. I'll do that in a minute. Okay, we need a big tag, big tag. Oh, that's the right width right there. So let's just do it right where that fold is. Yeah, that's the right width. We just need to trim it off a little bit. Just a tiny bit at the top. That's going to be our tag that's going to go behind, and I am going to use this paper for the backing. Okay, I'm going to trim a little bit here because it's got a little bit of white showing. Now, that would slide down in there. So let's see, we'll cut this into a tag shape. Oh, my scissors are going to need cleaning after this. They are so sticky. And I'll probably stitch around this one too. Just a lot of times on the bigger ones, I do because they're more apt to kind of come apart than the smaller ones. So I may stitch around this one a little bit. And what could we put on here? I'd love to be able to put one of these girls on there, but I don't think she would look right. I could put a little house on there. Is that too much? Does the house look like it's in the background? <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm going to do it. You know, the house could be in the background, and then this is their pumpkin patch down here, and then they're hauling them off in that truck. I just love these little houses. Okay, I'm going to trim that little tip off up there. <laughs> Cute. Yeah, see, the, the pumpkin patch is out here in front, and the house is in the back. So you've got a two-dimensional thing there going on. 
And then, let's see. Or three-dimensional. Um, I'm thinking we'll put a piece of this trim in it. This is from my scrap cabin shop. Uh, a lot of you have already purchased from her. If you use my discount code, Scrapbooking with Me 10, you'll get 10% off of your order. She just sent me some new Christmas, and I can't wait to drag it out. I will be using it in all of those Christmas journals coming up. So then we would glue that down. I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead and put it in this journal. Each one of the journals is going to have one of these, so we might as well go ahead and put it in if I can find a page. Don't know if I'll find a page. <laughs> this thing is kind of full. Um, let's see, pocket there, pocket there. Uh, flip out there. Pocket, pocket, pocket. Okay, we might be able to put it here. Let's put it here. Let's see what it looks like here. It really looks better over here, but I got a pocket on the other side, or a little tuck. So I think I'm gonna put it here. Let's see, let's make sure we don't have another page that would work better. That one has a pocket there. See what I'm talking about? I get I go crazy with pockets and flips and let's see that one. No. I'm thinking that's gonna be oh wait, we could we could do it here. We could do it here. And then it would go there. That I like that better. Or do we like that better? Let's leave that for writing and let's put it over here. Yeah. Okay. Y'all taught me into it. Now, remember, put your glue down through here. Cross here. And then down this side. Whoops. Try to run straight as you can. And then you're going to glue that down close to the bottom. I think this is in the, the journal that she asked me to make sure that she had lots of trucks. And believe me, you've got lots of trucks in here. Oops, come on now. Something's sticking. Did I not glue something down well? Hold on. Hold your horses. There we go. It's just a little piece that needed to be moved out of the way. So there is that. Isn't that cute? I think we need a label down here. What do you guys think? The label? I think so. I think we might put that label there. It says seedling, and that's pretty proper for pumpkins because they start from seedlings, don't they? This is a Tracy Fox label. I get those from Tracy. And she is on Etsy. Tracy Fox. Or you could, I think, Love Junk Journals is her channel name. Or her name for Etsy store. And I think that's all I'm going to put on there. But then you can flip this up. Got all kinds of journaling space. I'm gonna move my glue. And then you have a pocket behind and you've got your cute little truck showing through. Alright, guys, that is the video for today. You asked for a longer video, you got it. <laughs> we will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye bye.